YouTube channel Math with Jeeva. So as you know, even though this is a YouTube channel where we are talking about math concepts, we started a new video series. It's about cost accounting principles. So this is our first video related to cost accounting principles. So in this video, I'm planning to discuss with you about cost classification. To categorize cost involved in your business, we have several classifications. For an example, if you want to classify your cost based on the department, based on the function, based on the geographical area, so you can categorize as you wish. For an example, let's say administration cost, finance cost, selling and distribution cost. Likewise, we can divide our cost items into separate areas. But today, I'm going to classify cost based on the level of activity. Again, the level of activity can be changed according to the business type. For an example, let's say we are engaging in manufacturing. So if it is so, the level of activity will be uh, the number of units produced, right? If we are dealing with transportation service, our level of activity will be the number of miles traveled. Let's say we are doing a restaurant or a takeaway restaurant. If so, the number of meals served or else if it is in the hotel industry or if it is, let's say, uh, the service industry, number of hours work. Likewise, depending on the business type or the business uh, structure, the level of activity will be changed. Whatever the level of activity, today we are going to talk how we can classify, how we can categorize our cost based on the fluctuations of level of activity. So that means we are going to classify our cost based on the behavior, cost behavioral patterns. Based on that, we have three types of cost initially. So that is fixed cost, variable cost and semi-variable cost. So why it is important for us in the organization to have an idea about what is our level of activity and how our cost items, either a fixed cost or variable cost or semi-variable cost, how it is changing or else how it behaves with the level of activity, why it is important for us because it is, uh, it helps to uh, maintain our managerial tasks such as planning, decision making, controlling. So we need to have at least a basic idea about our cost item and how it behaves with the fluctuations of level of income. So sorry, level of activity. Right, so let's move to our first thing. So we talk about cost, right? And we categorize it into three items, right? If we categorize it into three items, what is that? First one will be the fixed cost. Fixed cost. The second one will be variable cost. And the third one will be semi-variable cost. Right. So let's uh, to talk about these three types of cost. Now I am planning to take an example. Let's say my business is uh, manufacturing business. Let's say now I have a small scale garment factory. So that is the example uh, to discuss these three types of cost. So let's say uh, think I have uh, started a small scale garment factory. Now I have 10 machines, right? 10 machines and I have uh, hired 10 workers to uh, work with me and another two people for cleaning. Likewise, now I am doing this business and maximum capacity, let's say uh, these days I am producing shirts. If so, do, uh, within that uh, area which I am maintaining my small scale garment factory, the maximum production capacity 2,000 uh, 
uh, shirts or as 2000 units. So first I'm going to talk about fixed cost. Can, uh, can you guess when you hear the term fixed cost, it means it is fixed. It is not changing. With what? With the level of activity, right? With the level of activity, your fixed cost item won't change. Now, can you guess any uh, example for this type of cost, fixed cost? Think about the monthly rent, building rent you are paying to the owner. So, let's say I told you, so I have a space, so I have a rented a place. So where I can produce up to maximum 2,000 units and I have uh, arranged 10 machines for that. Now, whatever the number of shirts I am producing, let's say month of March, I produce 1,000 shirts. And month of April, uh, there are a lot of holidays, so I produce only 500 shirts. Month of May, I produce, let's say, 1,200. Whatever the number of shirts I am producing, uh, the amount I should pay to the building owner, was it changed? No. Each and every month I have to pay that particular building rent amount. Whatever the number of shirts I produce, it doesn't matter. He's expecting that amount from me. So now uh, I'm going to erase this. So this is the basic classification cost based on their behavior with the fluctuation of level of in, uh, activity so fixed cost variable cost semi variable cost so later so the second item variable cost but without writing here i wrote there and semi variable cost i wrote here you at the end of this lesson you will understand why i wrote it in the middle right so we'll talk about fixed cost first so now tell me, now I am going to show the behavior of fixed cost graphically. So look at this. Now let's say it's like this. Right? Here the cost. Right? And here the number of units you produce. Number of units you produce or else the level of activity. Right? Now let's say for an example, particular month. Uh, I was sick or else I had to attend for a funeral. So the whole month or else I had to uh, go abroad for a tour or any training. Let's say whatever the reason, during that, for an example, these days we are facing the COVID-19 situation. So I couldn't do anything during the month, during the month of May. I didn't produce a single unit. Let's say my activity level, the number of units I produce is zero. Now what happened? So can I tell, so I didn't uh, produce anything, so I can't pay you? No, I have, let's say my building rent will be 20,000. So it's like this, let's say this is the 20,000 margin, so this one. And my uh, units produce is zero, still I want to pay this. Now, when I am increasing my number of units, right, or the production level, level of activity, what happens? So, it is same. So, it is not changing. Whatever the number of level of activity, I want to pay the same 20,000 to the building owner. Now, can you understand the behavior of fixed cost? The level of activity or the production, number of units you are changing from zero what to whatever the level. But this figure is not changing. It is constant. Right? It is constant. Now, thing, uh, now always I want to produce uh, high quality products. So my buyers are very happy about my products. All of a sudden, I got a new order from UK to produce another 1,500 units, let's say, for an example. But I told you, uh, whatever the space I have at the moment, maximum capacity, production capacity is 2,000 shares. Now, I have signed an agreement with my existing buyers to uh, supply uh, up to 2,000 for, let's say, two years. So that ordinary order is there. 
So apart from this normal order, normal production, now I want to increase my production with another 1500 units with my new order. If so, now I can't do it using the uh, existing resources because that uh, well, within that area, within that space, uh, space, and within using the existing machines, the production maximum pro production capacity is 2,000. So I have to rent or I have to find another area for that. I discuss with the building owner. Then uh, he agreed to give me the next room for uh, for that. Again, I want to pay. Uh, 20,000. Now, all of a sudden, from 1st of July onwards, my building uh, rent will go up to 40,000. So, what happened? I told you, fixed cost is fixed or constant up to, earlier I told, it is fixed. It is constant. It is not changed, but it is not uh, fixed. It is not constant forever. We cannot do like that in the business world. When you are expanding your level of activity or else when you are expanding your business, the cost involvement will be higher. So now what happened? You move to another production level. That means you want to find another area. For that, you want to uh, spend more as the building rent. Now all of a sudden what happened? This is the normal fixed cost behavior. Now what happened, let's say, so this is up to 2,000 unit. Now, so up to 2,000 what happened, it is fixed, it is constant, right, so it is fixed. Now all of a sudden what happened, it will go up to 40,000 mark, it will go up to all of a sudden 40,000, right? So whatever the number of units now I am producing, this 2,000 and another 10, right? It doesn't matter. Uh, it is not a problem with the building owner. So whatever the number of units I am producing, either 2,000 or 2,100, 2,500 or 3,500, uh, get the same space, right? The same area, same. Uh, let's say I am uh, financially strong enough to buy another 10 machines and I am going to hire another 10 workers. The same conditions I am going to apply. That means uh, it's like the same condition. I can go up to another 2,000. That means the 4,000. Now up to 4,000 now what happened? This will be constant like this. Right. I told you, so normally my concern is to provide high quality products. Now my business is expanding day by day. What happened? My buyers are very happy about my product. Now I am going to have another new order, let's say. Now maximum production capacity with the existing resources 4000 units. Now uh, I got a new order. Now I want to have another uh, area to expand my business. Now what happened? Let's say again the same, this is uh, just an example, right? So let's say I want to have another uh, area, the same condition, but for that I want to pay 20,000. Now what happened? All of a sudden, my building rent will go up to another 20, that means 60,000. Now can you understand? Now what happened? So it is constant, up to a certain level, beyond that level, it is not constant, it goes up to a new level, then new step, then again it is constant, again up to a certain level, thereafter beyond that second level, it goes to another step, we call these type of fixed cost, stepped fixed cost. Right? Stepped fixed cost. Right? Why? It is like a staircase. So you have to go to another level and till then it is constant. It is fixed. But it is changing with steps. 
Hope everybody got an idea about normal fixed cost behavior and step fixed cost behavior. You want to think about the step fixed cost behavior when you are expanding your business. But up to a certain level, again, that uh, new step will be same or else constant. Again, when you are expanding your business, it goes to another level, right? So, forget about this step fixed cost behavior for a moment because this is not the normal condition. When you are expanding your business only, you can experience this type of behavior, right? So, the initial one, the normal condition is your fixed cost is constant, right? If your fixed cost is constant like this, whatever the number of units you are producing, another term I want to introduce, cost per unit, fixed cost per unit. Let's say you are producing only 20 shirts, right? You are producing only 20 shirts. Now, I told you my building rent is 20,000. Now, what happened? 20,000 divided by 20, 1,000 rupees. That means I have to spend 1,000 rupees per shirt. Now, what happened? So, now I am not talking about the total fixed cost. Now, I am going to talk about the cost per unit. If so, per unit I am producing, let's say, uh, 20,000 shirts I am producing. For that, I want to spend 1,000 rupees. Let's say here it is the 1,000. So, 1,000 rupees. So, starting like this. When I am increasing like that, let's say I am producing 2,000 units. Now, what happened? 20,000 divided by 2,000. Now, what happened? 10. It comes to this level. This type of behavior you can see fixed cost per unit because that fixed cost is something whatever the level of uh, production you have to spend the same amount and it is constant but I told you when you are expanding your business it is not constant uh, it is constant up to a certain level and beyond that level you want to go to another step again it will be constant up to a certain level when you are expanding further you want to go to another step that is we call step fixed cost this is fixed cost per unit how we can have this type of graph because when you are increasing number of units the uh, per unit amount will be lesser it's like this right initially when you are producing lower number of products lower number of units you have to incur higher fixed cost per unit because the fixed cost is something it is not changing but you are changing the number of units fixed cost per unit is changing like this right okay i want to talk about variable cost and semi variable cost but today uh, i am going to wind up this lesson because uh, when you are having lengthy lessons i know most of you are uh, from professional background right or else you are doing a level or another you are doing another graduate or mba so you are so busy so it's easier for you to have uh, shorter videos so we'll move to our next lesson that is variable cost semi variable cost i uh, took much time to come to the lesson because to introduce this uh, lesson in an attractive way and it's easier for you to understand you don't want to buy heart anything you don't want to study anything if you can remember with the examples these are very easy items in cost accounting principles so we'll meet again with another video about variable cost and semi-variable cost okay see you everybody